Hi everyone, it's author Maria Desmondi, and today in our Sunnyside Homeschool, we talked about sportsmanship. To start our class off today, we had a guest reader who is the author of this new book, Evie's Field Day, More Than One Way to Win. Her name is Claire Nolan. This book was illustrated by Alicia Tiba. So Claire read her book, which is all about a little girl who just wants to win, 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 and she keeps losing and losing, and it's really defeating her, and she's sad and upset. But at the end of the story, there is a baby bird who is in need of help. Evie's about to win in a certain activity, and instead of going forward for the win, she stops and helps the bird. She discovered that there is more than one way to win. So boys and girls, after um, Claire read her book, we talked about the connections to good sportsmanship. We talked about how a good sport plays by the rules. A good sport is a team player and allows their team to, like they're not a ball hog, right? So not only am I going to try to shoot the basket in basketball, but I'm going to pass it to my teammate. So being a good team player is owning up to your mistakes and sharing the game with the team. So if you do make a mistake in the game, Instead of blaming others, we talked before in one of my classes about the blame game. Instead of blaming others, we really want to own up to that and say, you know what, I totally made a mistake and I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to try to do things differently next time. That's what mistakes are all about. The third thing we learned was about being kind to others. This is so important when we talk about um, being kind to yourself. A sore loser is not fun to be around. Um, and, you know, if you get knocked down and you lost the game, figure out some strategies, some self-regulation ways that you can get back up again. We've talked about optimism. We've talked about mindset. So how can you take a loss in the game, feel that disappointment, sit with it for a little bit? It's okay to feel disappointed. Feel sad. If you have to cry, you cry. But then start thinking, you know what? What did I do that I could do differently next time? I'm going to get back up and I'm going to move forward. We've also talked several times in my classes about the remote control of life. You're going to want to hit pause on the good stuff in your life. You're going to rewind the good stuff, but you're going to fast forward the bad stuff. You're going to feel your feelings and you're going to move on. No one sits there and says, let me go back to the worst day of my life and repeat all of it. No way. People want to move on from the bad stuff. Number four to being a good sport is showing respect. And this is not just to your teammates and to the other team. We're talking about the players. We're talking about the coach on your team, the coach on other teams, the referees. Good sports show respect. Even if they're not feeling kind on the inside about the situation, they do not react in a disrespectful way. Boys and girls, we watched two videos today. They were both about two minutes each that were really great examples of being a good sport. So have your grown-up go to the resource page and download the resources. Um, if you download the PDF or you view the PowerPoint, I mean, you are able to see all of the slides, all of the definitions I went through, and the videos that I've shared too. Or you can go on the resource page and go right to the videos. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we played a game, and I'm going to play that game right now. It's called Good Sports Charades. And what I did is I have these stories inside of this bag, and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the stories. And the link to this game is also on the resource page if you'd like to play it. This was developed by an educator. Your soccer team needs one more goal to tie the game. Kendra dribbles the ball down the field and kicks but misses the goal. Your team loses. What do you do? So now I'm going to choose an action. Kendra dribbles the ball and misses. All right, so I'm going to be a good sport. But you're supposed to, I'm supposed to hide this from you and then act it out, and you're supposed to guess whether I'm being a good sport or a bad sport. So I'll do both, okay? I'll do good first. <clears throat> Oh, Kendra, it's okay, buddy. Like, there's always other games. You tried your best. No big deal. Come on, let's just, let's go high five the team and congratulate them on their win. We're going to move forward from this. That's being a good sport. How about a bad sport? Kendra, that game was depending on you. You lost the game for us. I'm never talking to you again. That's a bad sport. Calling names, that's a bad sport. 
ignoring someone because they lost the game, that's a bad sport, okay? Blaming others because they lost a game. I mean, yeah, that was a lot of pressure on Kendra, but you're a team. So you take it as a team and you don't play the blame game. So boys and girls, today's demonstration was simply taking a piece of paper and um, write, drawing a happy face and writing the sport. So I have kids come to these classes and have a notebook and we keep those notebooks so that way you can go back and you can know, okay, Miss Maria taught sportsmanship on May 20th and we talked about being a good sport. Being a good sport is being kind. So go ahead and jot that in your notebook and we'll see you on Friday when we have another lesson. We go all the way until June 12th. Thanks everyone. We said goodbye in Indonesian and that sounds like this. Selamat tinggal.